Hello everyone. We are back from Summit and continuing with our webinars today. We want to welcome you to our session today on Dynamics NAV Report Scheduler. And joining us today from Inovia Consulting is Tracy Brogetzker. And we're excited to have such a fantastic turnout today. Before I pass it over to Tracy to cover on this hot topic, I would like to remind you that this session is being recorded and it will be posted to our on-demand webinar library for you to review and share with anyone. And we just asked if you do have any questions, please feel free to type those in the questions box and we will get them answered during our Q&A time at the end of our session. And so now I'm gonna pass it on to Tracy to kick off our presentation. Hi everyone, thanks for joining our webinar today. We are going to speak about Dynamics NAV Report Scheduler and just a few fun facts. Um, a report schedule can be run at specific date and times. You can run it on command and you can run through a job queue and this process can be outputted to a PDF, Word or Excel and that report will go to your report inbox on your homepage in NAV. Okay, we're going to start looking at an items report that you can schedule on demand. And we'll go to our items listing. And from your items listing, you can go to your reports. And as you'll see in a moment, momentarily, you have all your reports you can select from. We're going to go to report sales. I'm going to use inventory sales back orders. And you can hit, you can filter to some report numbers or item numbers. So I'm just going to pull in a few for the reporting process. Set any other filters to your liking. To schedule the report on demand, you want to click your print button, you go to schedule. This will come up and your output are different varieties as noted before. You have Word, Excel, print, or none can be processing only. We're going to go ahead and do a PDF. You can set a run date formula for one day plus two days. You can use your early start date and time and when you want to expire the report. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And this report now is going to be scheduled into our inbox. Hit OK. We're going to go to our home page. Go to Rotate. And here is our report. It comes right out. All you have to do is double click on that. Hit Open. And it'll come up in a PDF. And there's your output of your report. And once again, these can be ran on command or you can schedule it through that window print command button. Next we're going to go to our job queue and we're going to show you how to schedule a report. As you see there are some set up here already. I'm going to go ahead and create new. You can run your object type. You can do a report or a code unit. The object ID to run if you use the drill down it gives you all of your options. I'm going to go ahead and just type in my report number. And we're going to run the customer statement, which is a common statement document. You can request the page options, which gives you your filtering. And with this, I'm going to go ahead and do some date filters, because those are required criteria on your report. We're going to leave the, all of the other criteria alone. Our report output, we want to do into a PDF. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit OK. So that gives us our page options and our filtering. I want my output to be a PDF. And what's also nice, you can do this reoccurring. You can have this run only on Mondays. If you click that button, and same for all the other days. Today is Wednesday, so I'm going to click this to run today. You also have a printer name if you want to print it out, the actual documents. And this will show all the printers on your server. In my case, I don't have any printers on my server, so that did come up blank. You can click your next run date and start time and end dates and number of minutes in between the time you run these reports. You can time it out if you'd like. Our early start date is going to be today. And I'm going to have this run for 9.39, whoops, 9.39 a.m. And we don't need an expiration date. So now as you see, this is on hold in order for your report to run. You're always going to set this status to ready and under your actions tab, you have the same commands here as you do on your home tab. And on Navigate, you can request your re report 
request page, you can show your record, and you can do log entries. In this case, since it's new, we won't have any log entries. So actually, I'm going to change my time because we're not going to go wait that long. So I'm going to set it to ready. And we're going to hit OK. And it is going to schedule to be run. As you can see, it says yes. And that time is coming up. So from this point on, we're going to go to our home page again. We're going to look at our report inbox. And here's our standard statement. And I already ran. We're going to open that up in PDF. And as you can see, we have 16 pages. And those are the only customers that have open balances on their statement. And that is the fun of report scheduling. And in your report inbox, of course, you can delete all these reports if you don't want to see them or have them accumulate in your report inbox. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you, Tracy. It does not appear that there are any questions. Uh, if anyone does have any, please feel free to contact us. Or if you want to contact your account rep, um, please do so. Thank you, Tracy, for presenting and to everyone on today's call. Or if you're watching on demand, thank you for joining us. And I just want to let you know that we do have a few more webinars coming soon. Tomorrow, October 23rd, we have Bryce Menadou from Inovia Consulting, and he's going to be presenting on getting the most out of your Microsoft sandboxes. And on Thursday, October 24th, we have Data Masons presenting on accelerating the journey to Dynamics 365 Business Central with Data Masons EDI. And check out our website for more of our upcoming events, and that's anovia.com slash events. And we also want to mention that we have our new podcast going on. If you haven't heard of it already, it's called the Anovia Conversation. And you can find out about all the different podcast platforms to listen to on our podcast page, and that's anovia.com slash podcast. So check out our podcast selection and subscribe so you get notified when our new episodes air. All right, thank you again for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again soon on another Anovia webinar. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Tracy.